All right, we're gonna start the glazing technique first. And first we're just gonna do some exercises with that. So we are gonna create three columns of um, seven rows of circles that are an inch and one sixteenth. So I'm gonna go over how to lay that out easily for you. So this paper, um, the first thing that you're gonna do, if you measure this, this paper is eight inches wide. So you're going to mark the halfway point, which is four, with your pencil. And I'm gonna do that in two spots. So I get a nice straight line. And make this line nice and light because we're eventually gonna erase it. Okay. And then from that line, we're gonna measure two and a half inches over. So I'm gonna go here and here. And then I'm going to line up those spots. And make a line. And then from that center, I'm gonna measure over two and a half inches again. Two spots. And make a line. And then if I measure this, this is 18 inches long. So half of 18 is nine. So I'm gonna mark off that nine in two spots. And measure that off halfway. Then I'm gonna do from that two and a half inches. So mark a spot. And then two and a half inches here. Gonna line up those two lines, make a line. Two and a half inches again from there. Okay, and if you're not sure the inches is the bigger side of the ruler. So I'm making two spots so that I get a nice straight line, okay. And then one more time, two and a half inches. And then line that up. And then from the middle, I'm gonna measure off two and a half inches again. Line those two spots up. And then two and a half inches. Oops, I needed to do another one, so I have something to measure it with. Two and a half. And then I have one more, so I'm measuring off two and a half inches over here. Okay, once I get all these kind of squared off, going to be really easy to add my circles that I want. So we're using an inch and 1 16th radius. So if you look right here, there's one dot, two dots, and then there's a third dot there. Okay, the, one, the two dots, it says right here, one inch radius. So the next dot is an inch um, an inch and one sixteenth for a radius. So that's what we're gonna use. So your pencil is gonna go in that third dot there. And this part, this is gonna go on where these lines intersect. So I'm gonna put that here, hold the white part, put it in the third dot and circle around. I'm gonna do that here. Put it in the third dot circle around. Put it here in the center, put it in the third dot, 
circle around. Put it in the center, put it in the third dot, circle around. See how I'm holding that center part of the compass? So putting the center where those lines intersect, third dot, and then I swoop it around. Put it in the center, third dot, swoop it around. Put it in the center. So I'm making 21 circles for this glazing exercise. And if you follow these directions, it makes it a lot easier to lay these 21 circles down. Um, if you just try by trial by error, it's kind of a mess in my opinion. So I'm trying to help you make it easier for you to lay them out. So I got three more rows left. So I'm putting that where the lines intersect, hold it down, third dot, swoop it around. Put it in there where the lines intersect, hold it down, swoop it around. Notice I haven't taped this off yet, and there's a reason, because I think it's easier once you have this drawn then to tape it down so you know not to tape over the circles and kind of where you need to go. So I would draw first and then tape down after you're done. Okay, so now we got the hard part done. The easy part is take your eraser and clean up those cross pencil lines. So you don't need any of those horizontal or vertical lines. We just need those circles. Now I'm just cleaning up So that's kind of the next 